Jared Bowen's level 15 team of the season card I have managed to get already. We're going to put him into a team and we're going to review him. But first, if you wanted to, guys, this card does fit into the team of the season upgrade series one. Now, do I recommend this as the upgrade? I mean, he looks really, really good through this. But I'm not going to do it. If you're a West Ham fan, you probably could justify this. Anyway, let's put him into a team and let's review the man. Are you tired of coming up against teams that are so much better than yours? Well, guys, today I might have a solution that works for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable FC24 coins you will find out there. They guarantee to get your coins to you within 30 minutes, and they also offer full refunds if you're not happy with the product. Not only that, they've got a 24-7 customer service team, which is very helpful if you're having trouble with any of your orders. But one of the greatest things about LootBar.gg is every time you buy coins you're going to get a five percent bonus which of course covers that pesky ea tax but also might help you with a new evolution if you need to get that done via coins or maybe to buy a store pack because the store packs are crazy right now and let me tell you buying coins is a lot cheaper than buying fc points to get your crazy store packs opened if you don't believe me go and check the reviews down below for loopbar.gg and you'll be absolutely blown away so if you need the cheapest most reliable coins for fc24 make sure you go to loopbar.gg and use code viper to get eight percent off all of your orders so then jared bowen only for level 15 in the season pass i think is a pretty damn good card four star four star five foot nine high medium work rates and controlled explosive accelerate type of the chem style we do have applied he's got finesse shot incisive pass and ping pass he's got first touch trickster relentless and quick step with Trevella plus which is absolutely terrible let's be honest so we're down to two playstyle pluses already Technical Plus, which is awesome, and Whipped Pass Plus, which we all know is absolutely bonkers good on this game. He can play striker, and I believe he does come out as a striker, actually. And you can also play him as a right mid and right wing. We've got him as a right wing here. In terms of in-games, very good pace and an okay split. You know, you want acceleration over sprint speed. He's got crazy good shooting. 92 attack position and 94 finishing. 88 shot power and 89 long shots. Very, very nice. Passing-wise, Great crossing, good vision, good short pass. Not the best long pass and curve, but you want the vision for a wide player. You want the crossing for a wide player. And you also want the, sh the short pass for a wide player, especially when they've got pinged pass silver. Dribbling-wise, really good bar composure. He's got good agility and balance, good reactions, good ball control and dribbling, and an 87 for his composure. He's also got 91 jump in, 81 head and accuracy, 96 stam with relentless, which is awesome. An 80 strength and 70 aggression. We've applied a hawk to this card. Plus four to the pace, so up to 95 or 96 pace here. He's got 98 finishing with this. 96 attack positioning. Goes up to 97 shot power and 96 long shots. 99 jump in. 84 strength and 78 aggression. In terms of where we're going to be playing with him, I haven't actually set up any tactics for the new team that I've built here. He is going to be playing as the right winger or right centre forward in the 4-3-2-1. Just like that. Probably on getting behind and stay forward. I'm going to try and whip crosses in. Try his Travellers maybe. But let's get into a few games and see what he can do. All right, first game now coming up with Jared Bowen. We're currently 4-0 in Champs Qualifier. So I do need to get qualified for tonight for Bundes Champs. Let's get into it. And let's see what this new man can do. Now, I really liked his Pundit Picks card. Great R1 dribbling early doors there. Good strength, actually, there up against Yashin. And, um, yeah, I really liked his Pundit Picks card. That card didn't get a lot of love. Uh, understandably, then Pundit Picks have not been really something that a lot of people care about. There is Bowen. Oh, my God. For whatever reason, it wouldn't let me turn there. He's won the ball back here, though. Bit of technical dribbling and incoming. Oh, his technical dribbling. Oh, yeah, man. Great. Let me tell you guys, great technical dribbling. He feels really good te technically. Really good technically. Now, that's the main thing I believe I remember feeling about his Pundit Picks card. Even though, like, he hasn't really got the craziest dribbling, his R1 dribbling felt absolutely spectacular. And that is what I'm feeling early doors here. He's done really well there as well up against Alfonso Davies. Here is Sam Kerr. Sam Kerr's going to bury that. Oh, my God. Unlucky. I also want to try some crosses with this card into DDA. Nice. Well, this Bowen feels class, guys. He does. He, I don't know how that's offside. Must have missed something there. But this Bowen does feel really, really nice on the ball. 
really nice. And he's shown a bit of physical already as well. You know, we've got that hawk applied, so you do expect a little bit from his fit. Okay. Oh my word. That cross was mental. Bit unlucky. I didn't want that. I didn't want the Tremella cross. I wanted the, um, just like the kind of the whipped cross, you know, kind of curled in. Wow. I wanted it kind of curled in so I could get it up exactly on DDA's head. But sadly for us, I didn't want to do that. I don't know what Bruno's doing here. I didn't want him there. Here goes Jared again. Oh, that was poor from me. His R1 dribbling does feel incredible. It certainly feels better than some of the other players I've used on the game. Uh, I.e. Kai Havertz. Even though you know, he's a bit more of a powerful dribbler. This man feels like super responsive with it. I can't believe this, by the way. This guy is moving mad. Right, here is Bowen. Of course, he's got that ping pass as well, so we can trust his pass in. I'm going to drive here with Sam Kerr. We're probably going to look back into Bowen here. I want to try a few finesses with him, actually. As well. So we've got a lot to do with this card today. He's passing, guys. Oh, mate. His passing is great. His passing has been brilliant so far. Bit unlucky not to score there, I feel like. Bit unlucky. But this has been a great start to this game, guys. And, and I'm very, very impressed with Jared so far. I'll try and find him there as well. Nice. Nice. Guys, the thing I really like about him is his passing so far. His passing, mixing with how good his technical dribbling is, has been great to see early doors. It's what I'm most impressed with. Let's go to highlights. His positioning seems to be uh, like really good as well. That's a poor pass from him. I didn't want it like the animation I got there. But yeah, his positioning seems to be awesome. Here he goes again. He's in here. His pace, you know. Awesome, awesome pace on the man. Wow. He, guys, he feels superb. Oh, my word, guys. Yeah, he feels really responsive. Like... Uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of, like, the mix of big players and then, like, responsive small players. This this card feels insanely responsive. Oh, he's got that as well. Oh, it's got to be done. I've got to try it. Oh, dearie me. Bowen again here. Jared Bowen. Oh, what a save that time. Oh, what a ball, Vasquez. Bowen. Mm, he's put it wide. His finishing is starting to falter a little bit. But still, guys, I have to say, what a free card this is. Come on, Bowen. Lovely ball from Vasquez. We're going to go into Drogba here as well. Good little whip cross. Guys, this card's awesome. Okay, my review is in on Jared Bowen's 91 rated team of the season. And this card really does quite annoy me. Not because he's bad, because he's actually really, really good. And that's the thing that annoys me. When you compare to this girl that I've got on the bench. So, Chloe Kelly's got better stats almost everywhere. Fair enough, right? But it's really not that different. They've got the same physical, but Bowen is a lot stronger. Dribbling, I would actually argue that Bowen's is better anyway because of the technical plus. I would say Kelly does win out on the passing and probably the pace. But they're so, so similar. And Bowen's free. And that's the thing that annoys me quite a lot. No, this Chloe Kelly was really expensive. And I really like her as well, let me add. Um, if you want to go check out that review, that is on the channel. But they're so similar. The only thing that really differentiates them is the fact that one's male and one's female. And then one of them, you know, has different playstyles to the other. But, you know, first of all, this Bowen has two playstyle pluses, right? The Trevella Plus, absolutely pointless. Chloe Kelly has three very good playstyle pluses. The thing that I like about this Bowen, though, guys, is how well-versed he is absolutely everywhere and the ability to play a multitude of roles. He plays a striker if you want to. He's a very decent striker. His finishing is very, very good for the most part. His pace is brilliant as well, so you've got that getting-behind ability with him, whether that's a striker or wide. His passing is good in the right areas. You know, his vision's very good. His crossing's very, 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 very good with the whip pass plus. And his short pass is very decent as well, which allows you to do the kind of cutback ping passes with him. And of course, all of his crosses are pinpoint as hell. Dribbling-wise is probably where I was most impressed with him. Technical plus, of course, is great. 
but he's really, really small as well at five foot nine. He feels, and this is going to be crazy, he feels like Team of the Year Messi when it comes to technical dribbling. He's got one of the best technical dribbles on FC24. The R1 and R2 technical dribble I thought was better with him than just the R1. But if you want a card that can dribble like, like absolutely insane for free, this card's your man, honestly. That's how good he is at dribbling. He actually felt as well, to my surprise, a little bit physical, which I didn't really expect, but he did. Also, with this Chloe Kelly, yes, the stats are in Kelly's favour very marginally, but once you put Bowen through that Evo up to the 92, I think Bowen's stats are there or thereabouts, maybe a little bit better. So, you know, if you haven't done Chloe Kelly, go and check that review out and then come back to this Bowen one and then consider who you think is better based off them reviews. I really enjoy this Chloe Kelly, but I also think this Bowen is absolutely brilliant as well for a free card and probably will fit in some Evos in the future. I really, really wish he didn't have Travella Plus. You know, he has got great stuff though, guys. Relentless is really important, in my opinion, on wide players, so they can just keep on going and going and going. Quick Step, of course, is very important. First touches, great tricks are not very important. The other thing I forgot to mention, he's got pretty damn decent finesse shots. This card feels... Like a cheap version or a pocket version or the English Lionel Messi. I'm not capping. That's how good he feels in game, guys. I'm going to rate him for value probably like a 9 out of 10. You know, he's free. It only costs you 15,000 XP. And then quality of the card, I'm going to go for like an 8.5 out of 10. I think he's very, very good and is awesome for a free card. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bonus subscribe review. But guys, that's going to be it for me for now. So take care.